This dog was chained here for ten years. She had no comforts, no blanket, no toys, not even a bone. Often there was no food or water. Animal Advocate Society of B.C. first saw her at night, lying in the frozen mud, in her own excrement, being snowed and sleeted on. We were told that her owners had been seen urinating on her from the porch. When a distraught neighbor finally found and contacted Animal Advocates, we went straight to her, documented her misery, and then rescued her out of her pain and indignity and loneliness. Several upset neighbors told Animal Advocates that they had phoned the British Columbia SPCA many times for many years. The BC SPCA did nothing for her. They did not seize her or charge her owner with cruelty, even though they could have used the BC Prevention of Cruelty to Animals Act to do so. What the SPCA would do was to take $50 to put her down. We rescued her a day before her owners were going to take her to the SPCA to do that. But it's a good thing the SPCA didn't seize her, because they would have killed her. When we got her, she was emaciated, dehydrated, and barely able to walk because of painful hips. Clumps of caked mud dragged her tail down to the ground. We cannot tell you this story without also telling you the happy ending that Animal Advocates guarantees every one of the dogs we rescue. Her recovery started at our vet, with freedom, fun, an exam, and grooming. She was so happy being somewhere, anywhere new, and to be the center of attention. Animal Advocates volunteers shaved off the heavy mats of wet hair and feces, some of the worst we have ever seen, and we've seen and helped a lot of neglected dogs. She can even wag her tail, now that it isn't so heavy anymore. And the slippery floor doesn't hold her back. She's off to see what else is new. This is how thin she was everywhere. Now for a bath. She didn't love the soap and water, but she loved being touched and fussed over. This will be her first night in a warm, snug bed. Perhaps the first in her whole life. This is her homecoming party. Animal Advocates found two amazing people, Mike and Alyssa, who took one look at her, put their arms around her, and said, we're taking you home, just as we hoped they would. They changed her name to Judith. When Judith's poor old hips gave out, Animal Advocates found her a cart. She was a natural and went everywhere in that cart. Mike and Alyssa took her on many camping trips and to their cottage. She chased squirrels in the cart and even played in the lake in it. Ambleside Beach was another favorite place where she could play without the cart, socialize with other dogs, and have the kind of fun that had been denied to her for so long. Everyone wanted to know her story, and she was the center of attention always. Judith had 18 months before she died of a real family and of all the love and happiness she deserved. And the time before did not count at all.